Hello. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me tell you what I'm doing. I'm making a bonnet from fabric that is made in the USA. Well, that's the back. That's the brim. Let me show it to you. I thought it was such a special occasion that I would go live. There it is. See the colors? Let me back up. Isn't it gorgeous? Made in the USA. So I thought, let's make the bonnet live. Now there's my machine. And I hope you can see it. This is the brim. Now I have batting right here because the brim is gonna be quilted. So that's the batting. I have two layers of the brim and let's get started. Now guys, you know I don't have much internet and I don't know how to situate my camera, but down on the farm today, it was gorgeous. And I thought, what a great way to end this day by making this bonnet out of fabric made in the USA. Now you have to stitch. I don't know where I put my pins. You have to stitch, here they are, through all three layers to create the bond. The fabric is soft. and luxurious. One hundred percent cotton. I am loving it. I'm just removing the pins as I sew. There we go. There it is. Now what I do, is I'm going to clip some of the excess between the seam and the salvage edge of the fabric or the cut, cut edge. Uh, cut edge. Just going to cut a little of this off all the way around. And the reason I'm doing that is because it won't have as much bulk when I turn it over. I'm learning so much. Let me get back on camera. I'm learning so much from social media. This old bird loves it. I don't have internet, not much, most of the time. But Spectrum is bringing internet guys to our rural community very soon. October or November, they're telling us. I can't wait. Let me put my pins in my case and I won't lose them. Okay, now you flip this over. Ah! Ah! Guys, I stitched this wrong. You see? Wait a minute. You see? It happens. I'm going to have to take this apart. 
it happened, it happens, it happens. Now let me see. I don't see my scene ripper. I wasn't paying attention. It's okay, it happens. Let me talk to you while I take this apart. It happens to this old bird more frequently than I'd like to admit. But you know one thing about making mistakes, you learn. I was so worried about not having internet and trying to set up my camera where my machine would be in the shot and I'm making bonnets and my ironing board is up, my remote is up. And I was so worried about those things that the thing that was most important, I let slip. And I pent my bonnet together incorrectly. That's like That's life. One of my favorite Frank Sinatra songs. That's life. Now I have to take this seam apart all the way around. What are you doing tonight? On the TV, I'm watching Bobby Flay cook. Okay, there it is. It started. Now, let me see if I can get a piece of the thread and just pull it. There we go. My husband is painting my workspace. This side is my workspace. That side across there is his work, uh, is my husband's office. And guess what he's building me? A new sewing table. You see behind me, my shelves? He painted all of that and built those shelves so I could kind of get organized. It's not easy, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm sorry guys, I didn't mean to come on and it's like, they say like watching paint dry. <clears throat> I really didn't. But maybe there was a reason. Who knows? The Lord is so good to me. Guess what happened today? Rain. Rain happened today in our area. It is so dry. We've been in drought. Areas around us get rain, but our little city doesn't get rain, or the city may get rain. We're in the roof, and it has been so dry. I have planted some tomato seeds. One of the first things I've ever grown from seeds. My plants are four feet tall. Can you believe it? I can't. I had the uh, plants on my front porch and I was going to take them around to my 
container garden area. And <laughs> they just started growing. I'm not affiliated with this company at all. But if you ever try to grow your own tomatoes or something from seeds, let me tell you the company where I got mine. It's called uh, Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. Heirloom Seed Company, I think. If you can, get the catalog. You will love it. They have a paid catalog that you can buy, and they have a free catalog. The free catalog was so amazing that I ordered two. I ordered one for me, and after I got it, I ordered one for a friend of mine oh, who lives in Maryland. You see, I've got to go all the way around the brim and turn, flip that piece of fabric over. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. I'm opening a new Etsy shop and my handmade bonnets will be in the Etsy shop. Mama used to make me bonnets. I'm using her pattern. I'm on. Almost got it, guys. Can you hear my, my scissors squeaking? What I'm going to do is I'm going to not force you to watch me to do this. Even though it's a part of making bonnets. This fabric is gorgeous. Gorgeous. My bonnets have quilted brims, most of them, not all of them. I'm learning to quilt correctly. Mama made a bonnet for me. I've been packing things up, so I think it's in the closet. Right now, I wear it frequently. Yes, I wear bonnets. We have bright, beautiful sunshine. And I wear my bonnet. Bonnets when I go out in the sun, especially if I'm working in my garden. And if I'm going to be in the sun. And I can't tell you <laughs> the people that stop me and talk about my bonnet. They tell me that the bonnets remind them of their aunt or grandmother or mom that wore the uh, bonnets in their childhood. And I get to share with them that mama made mine. 
you know, my mom was amazing. She would, like, if I had to go out in the sun, I love going bike hiking and camping uh, with the Girl Scouts. And mama would be watching the news or something on the TV. And the newspaper, she read every day. And she'd take the newspaper after she she read uh, had read it, of course. And she would take her scissors and sit there and cut the pattern. And she'd spend the evening, every stitch by hand. And she'd make me a bonnet, throw it over there too. She wouldn't press as she uh, went along. And she'd say, here, here is a new bonnet. Okay. Now, you see this piece was on the wrong side. So I've got to flip it over. See the beautiful colors? I've got to flip it over to the right side. Wrong side against the batting. And this batting is very thin. And this is going to stick out over your face and protect you from the sun in this amazing pattern fabric. It's beautiful. Now let me tell you how far this one will be. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About eight inches. Now I have brims that I make that are only six inches. It's up to you. There it is. Let's try it again. This time I won't pin it. But I'll try to go over that same stitch line, almost, so that I won't have that flaw seen. Let me get a little piece of scrap fabric. Drop that pair of scissors, and it's OK. Making mama's bonnets are like life. Just got to keep on going. <laughs> now I learned that from a quilter online, Lisa Capen. She starts with a piece of fabric. This sewing machine mama bought me. I think I was in the third grade. And she said, oh, bird. I think it's time you had your own machine. Okay. Coming along just great so far. When my husband gets my new sewing table completed, I'll be able to put mama's machine up and one of my machines. I have an electronic machine that embroidered. What you think about adding some embroidery to the bonnets? Wouldn't that be great? Maybe your initials on the on the side tip of the brim 
for a holiday gift. That would be nice for the gardener in your life. I love the butterflies. That's the thread that I didn't pull on. That's on this piece of fabric. There you go. I at least want to show you the brim. And when I come back on again, we'll finish this one. Because I took up so much time. Let me dust off these little pieces. Thread. Now this one, I don't know if I'm going to quilt the brim or not. The fabric is so beautiful. It is gorgeous. I'm going to flip it over. Turn my mind. Now, this time when I flip it, show. There it is. I don't think I've ever felt cotton fabric feel so luxurious. Let me pin it as I go. And you'll be able to see it. That's my iron telling me that it's ready. I love the colors in this bonnet. You know, another great place to wear a bonnet is around the pool. Okay, you ready? There it is. That's the seam that's on the piece of fat. This is the butterfly. You see, that's the way it is. Butterflies, flowers, Butterfly, you see it? And when you wear it, you see, it's going to be like this. And you will be looking underneath at this. If you look up, you'll see this beautiful floral pattern. Isn't that gorgeous? I just think it's gorgeous. You have this, or you have this. Which one you think for the for the um front of the bonnet? Maybe this one, since it's almost in the center. I like things a little off kilter, so I would like 
this one that's on the side. It's interesting. The butterfly is flying over here too, to the flowers, you see? I love it. Well, guys, I was going to come on and work on this bonnet with you. And because I had the fabric wrong, you had to watch me take it apart. I love it. I think these are a flower called Black Eyed Susans, one of my dad's favorites. And can you see the bird? Let me see. You see him right there peeking, peeking out. And you see him right there. I just love it. This fabric is beautiful. Now look, this is the brim. I'm going to steam it and then I'll attach this to the back. And tomorrow when I come back, we'll make the ties. So come back and join me tomorrow and let's make the ties. Thank you for joining me. I'm sorry that I didn't get to go further, but we'll be back. Have a blessed night filled with lots of smiles.